very big welcome to everyone and I'm so glad to be able to present to you this double page layout I made of my son's egg rolling competition at school. Every Easter the school has an Easter hat parade and after the parade they do an egg rolling competition. It's been a long tradition for a very long time and no one wants to give it up. So all the parents boil eggs, the kids decorate it and let the competitions begin. Whenever I know I'm going to do a double page layout, I like to get my photos developed in various sizes. I normally develop a few of my main ones or what I think are going to be my main photos in 4x6. Then I get some developed in 4x3 and I also have some developed in 3x2. That way it gives me lots of scope and I can play around because as you know, I don't really pre-plan my layouts, they just develop on their own. So this is where things go pear-shaped for me. My, uh, my plan, I should say, was to have my photo centred in the middle and all around it I was going to have this lovely decorative border that I was going to cut with that die cut. The only problem is my old cuddle bag is not wide enough and all it did was wreck my paper. So then I decided that I will cut the paper in strips and have that decorative edge in in um, strips and then stick it onto the back of the paper so it looks like it's one whole piece of paper but that doesn't work because of the way that the die is made to cut so in the end all I managed to do was wreck this absolutely gorgeous paper from Bow Bunny I loved that egg paper and it went beautiful with the photos but I'm sorry to say I completely butchered it but the reason why I left the process in was just to show that just because something doesn't work out for you, just work with it and keep on trying to make it your own. Plan number two is to match my photos using some lovely, gorgeous purple cardstock. Lucky for me, I remembered that I had to use my or match my photo on the other side of the paper as it was going to be in the centre of a double page layout. And I nearly forgot to mention that all the papers that you see here are from Auntie Beera's Scrap and Craft. They're from her uh, Evil Enabler Core products that she provided for the month of April. The papers are from Bow Bunny and it's from the Cottontail Collection and they're absolutely gorgeous. I dived into my stash and I found these two pieces of cardstock. They're sort of a creamy beige colour and they're going to be perfect for this layout. Oh my gosh, look at this paper. Bow Bunny, you've out, outdid yourself. I love those purple stripes. And that bunny is gorgeous. I'm going to be fussy cutting him out and he will be used as an embellishment. Talk about stash busting. I took out from my archives that gorgeous viscous border punch. Who remembers them? I must confess that even though it's easy to use a hole punch, I had problems with this water punch and it took me a good two to three minutes before I actually remembered how I had to use it. But once I got into the swing of things, it was all very easy and I loved the end result. Because I don't really pre-plan my layouts as such, I have to constantly bring everything back in and I like to, I tend to work in stages is what I'm trying to say. So I've got my centre photos or my centerpiece all worked out so it's now trying to work out how I'm going to incorporate the other photos into the layout. So normally when I do a double page layout it's usually because I, there's a story to tell and one photo is not going to cut it. So the photo in the middle which is that large 4x6 that's my main photo because it's just basically showing his hands and how dirty they are from rolling this egg that has been dyed in some food dye. The photos that are going to be on the left hand side of the layout, that's the start of the egg rolling competition when he's just sitting with his friend and they're just showing their eggs and they're getting excited about, you know, stepping up to the mark and rolling their eggs. And the photos on the right hand side are of the actual competition, starting with the, the start of the competition, the teacher holding the big ruler, the middle photo is the eggs rolling down the path, and the third little photo is my son's egg, which had actually won, so that's exciting, it's all on its lonesome down the path. So this paper is absolutely gorgeous, 
but I'm going to be using that gorgeous fence down the bottom there. I'm just going to do a bit of fussy cutting and cut that little fence out. It was a bit of work, but in the end, I really, really liked it. It sort of had that, it had that feel of the, the bunny rabbit jump, jumping over the fence and I don't know. It's just something that popped into my head and I went with it and I really do like the end result. I'm really happy with the placement of the photos and how everything is coming about so I'm just going to quickly adhere everything down abracadabra and my photos are all adhered down so now it's time to embellish now I didn't have a lot of embellishments or ephemera which is fine by me because I do struggle with them so I've gone back to the scraps scrap pieces of paper that I have left over from this collection and I'm going to try and frame the rest of the, the layout so that everything sort of looks like a bit more cohesive. So I've got strips from that lovely gorgeous paper. Um, I'm going to be using that bunny as an embellishment. And then I think that the paper's looking a bit too bland, all that beige and cream. So I got out this stencil. It's one from the reject shop, nothing nothing special about it and I'm using the Distress Oxide and the colour is Bundled Sage and I'm just going to be doing some stenciling but the end result is, at, well I think it's absolutely stunning and it's just made everything pop and the whole layout just came together once I've done all this stenciling. So once I finished all the stenciling, I decided I was going to use some of the stickers from the Cotton Tail Collection by Bow Bunny and I just loved that Easter sticker there. And then I, this little one here, I actually stuck it in the wrong place. So it just says, I think it says Happy Easter, but I could be wrong. And yeah, I shouldn't have stuck it there, but in the end, sticker, it's down permanently. So I cut in some more strips as I'm going to add them to the bottom bottom photo there and I was going to add another one to the top photos I just thought that things were looking a little bit unbalanced so after some booming and umming I've decided I am definitely going to use this space and that's going to be its permanent home I really do think it added that little bit of a something that it needed and otherwise it's just would have looked a little bit too bland or for my liking anyway and we're almost at the end of my layout so even though we got off to a rocky start in the end it all came good. First I dusted off that old Fiskars water punch and now I busted out these old braids and eyelets. Now this layout is really doing some stash busting. So in the end what I ended up doing was I picked some purple braids that I had that were all little love hearts and I also then picked all these lovely little lime greeny braids and I just put them all around it. I saved you the pain of watching me drill holes and put the eyelets through but now I am working on my title so for my title I used many different fiskers from many different collections but it all turns out looking great and of course the title for this layout is going to be the great egg rolling comp these go back to 2009 so I'm glad to be finally using it isn't this bunny gorgeous? I'm going to do some fussy cutting and he's going to land up being an embellishment on my layout. The left hand corner is still looking a bit empty so I'm going to fussy cut these gorgeous Easter eggs out and I will be using one set for the left hand side there. The second lot of eggs that I'm going to fussy cut is going to go on the right hand side just to balance things out a bit. So my dear scrappy friends, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you like it. Until next time, I would love it if you hit that like button, if you like the layout that is. And if you haven't already done so, I would really, really like it if you subscribe to my little channel as I am trying to grow it. And when we hit that 500 subscribers, I will be doing a little giveaway. It's bye for now. Until next time. Stay safe everyone. Bye.